Hey guys, Duster Dan here. Just picked up my new Garrett AT Pro and I'm hunting my own backyard with it. And uh, gonna transition from my Technetics Delta 4000 to the AT Pro now for all my future hunts. And I'm scanning my own backyard here where I've scanned several times with the Technetics. And I just gotta say, this Garrett has got some depth and some power that is uh, beyond what I expected. And uh, I've been over these areas several times, even with a, uh, I think it's a 10 by 11 double D Nell coil on my Technetics. And uh, I'm finding new good signals that are uh, really great. So I just found one here down about six inches, pulled it out and it's there in the, uh, well, I wouldn't call that a plug, <laughs> but a pile of dirt. And uh, I just wanted to get this on camera because it's ringing up 81, 80, 81, 82. So let's check it out together and find out what it is. Okay, there it is right in there. Seems to be in the plug a little bit. Oh, look at that. It is a coin. Holy cow. See, now I've been over this area many, many times with my uh, my Technetics. And it looks like a clad dime, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at that. Holy cow. i got to hand it to this Garrett, man. I've retrieved thousands and thousands of targets with my uh, Delta. 4000 Technetics and uh, I know I've been over the spot many many times but you know leave it to Garrett they just seem to be able to see down a lot deeper and give you that consistent signal uh, coming back every time I'm sure I heard this signal with my Technetics but I could not sorry I could not distinguish the signal from the other ground uh, you know the interference so there you go first coin found with my new uh, my uh, Garrett AT Pro uh, in an area where I have been over and over with my other machine my other machine which has served me faithfully uh, but not as good as a, a Garrett AT Pro so anyways I'll get back to you if I find something else all right, I got another target down here. It's about four inches down, maybe five inches. And again, I've been over this area with my other detector countless times. But let's go ahead and see what it is. See if I can get my uh, trusty shovel in here. Get underneath the target. It's ringing up in the high 70s, low 80s. So. The age of this property, it could be either a clad or a weedy, and it looks like it. It's green. It's green. You can see it right there. Looks like a weedy. Looks like a wheat penny. No, it's a, it's a memorial. You can see clearly, maybe not so clearly. Get down on the flat land. There we go. It is a memorial, and uh, it was down about five inches. But like I said, I've been through this yard countless times, and I have pulled, I thought, all the coins out of here. But obviously, there's still more to be found. So, once again, thankful for my AT Pro, and uh, going to go back and search a lot of places. <clears throat> that uh, are a little bit older where there still might be some really good finds a little deeper. All right, see you at the next target. Hey guys, Duster Dan here. I'm out hunting with my AT Pro in the mountains today. Got a permission on a large piece of property that's got some history to it. And uh, I've been here about an hour and really having a hard time with the AT Pro here. Um, 
filtering out iron. There's evidently a lot of uh, iron in these uh, in the gravel here and in the rocks here. So um, I'm actually starting to hunt in um, all metal mode or uh, iron, iron audio. And it seems to be the best way to distinguish between the iron stone targets and the actual decent targets because you will not get any iron uh, reflex or response from a coin. Um, so anyways, I got my first really good target here. Uh, it was down about two inches right down in here. And as you can see, there it is right there. See if it'll focus. Yeah, there we go. Got a got a wheat penny here. All right. So where was I here? 1952s wheat penny. It's my first good find up here, and uh, seems like the iron audio is going to work best for me. And uh, so let me get back to the hunt. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Hey guys, next target. All right, this is a virtual surface find, and it looks like silver. I just moved away this little bit of bark and uh, a little bit of sand off the surface, and this is what I found. Can you see the date? I can't. I'm going to have to get my glass out to be able to read the date. I've seen a lot of cloud dimes before that ring in or look like uh, silver yeah this is 2007 so although it looks like silver it's not it's a clad dime 2007 alright next target alright hey guys roundup time for the AT Pro just got back from the mountains I kind of wish I'd have brought my other detector, my Technetics, so I could compare them side by side. One of the problems up there is that in our local mountains here, uh, the dirt is absolutely saturated with iron, so I had a lot of trouble seeing through the iron, and it's going to take me a little getting used to with the new AT Pro to figure out what settings work best in those iron saturated areas. But uh, did an okay job. Um, definitely gave good signals down deep, down deeper than what I want, where I wanted to dig. <laughs> Honestly, uh, there was a lot of gravel up there, so um, didn't get a whole lot. But nabbed three quarters. Uh, got a uh, 1952s wheat penny. Pretty good condition, but unfortunately. Um, it was in an area where people have been driving over uh, countless times. Uh, it was not very deep. I scored seven dimes there, and the rest are just zinc and copper pennies, and a little zinc uh, what's it. So anyways, I uh, just wanted to do a quick roundup on my quick hunt with my AT Pro, and I'll let you know when I get a chance to take it out. and. Uh, do another hunt where there's a little less iron in the ground. Also want to do a couple of side-by-side -side, uh, comparison videos, at least one with my uh, Technetics to show the difference in depth and um, show the difference in the signals. They're actually very similar uh, target ID, very similar. Um, so it was not a very difficult transition over from my Technetics to the Garrett. So anyways, that's it for this hunt. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you have a great week. And hope you get a chance to get out there and do a little hunting yourself. Put them up on YouTube. Share them with the rest of us. Uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys out there on the hunt. God bless your day. Bye.